become level. Yo, what's going on everybody? General315 back again, another sneaker review video for y'all. And today we have a pretty dope shoe on deck today, man. This one is the Jordan 12 Eastside Golf Joints. And I'm really happy that I got these. This is a nice colorway, a nice shoe. Before I get started and breaking down the shoe, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you thumbs up the video, share the video with your family and friends, all that stuff that everybody else says in their videos, please do that here. It really helps the channel grow. I'm seeing the growth and I really love it. I appreciate it a lot. Make sure you guys follow me over on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates. Go ahead and check out my Reels page. The Reels page is popping. I haven't posted anything recently. I've been kind of taking a break, but I'm back a little bit, kind of getting into the swing of things. Last but not least, make sure you guys follow us in the Discord. The Discord link is in the description of the video. We have a really good community in there and we really try to help each other find kicks, buy kicks, trade kicks, do whatever. If you guys need help finding kicks, that might be the way to go. Make sure you follow us in the Discord. So Eastside Golf Joints, I'm not really too sure of the story behind it, but I have seen it floating around. I know that Jordan has been linked with golf for a long time. He's an avid golfer. I'm not sure if he's good or not, but whatever, he likes to golf. So I'm assuming that this shoe is some sort of homage to him and playing golf and playing golf with friends and things like that, all right? So that's really all I have to say about the background. You guys can always look it up on online, on sneaker news and stuff like that, all right? So jumping right into the shoe, not gonna take too long. This shoe is super dope. It's definitely different. It's got some earth tones on it. You kind of got like some clay color. It's like a clay colorway right here on this mud guard. And then you have this kind of like sandy type of color here. It's almost like a deep sail or muslin type of color. I like the gold right there. The gold looks pretty good. You do have this little hang tag right here with a guy swinging golf. That might be MJ. I don't know if MJ wears gold chains like that, but that's more than likely where the gold came from. Medial side of the shoe doesn't look too much different. That's pretty much, you know, all of what's going on with the upper of the shoe for the most part. Um, the outsole of the shoes are both different. One, you have a green and the other you have a red and then you have some white carbon fiber right there. I do like how they put this yellow jump man right here. That definitely breaks up the silhouette. So that's pretty cool. Very nice right there. Okay. So taking a more detailed look at the shoe, we got some really, really nice leather. We got some nice tumbled leather on the upper. Nice vibes right there. Not too bad. Looks really good. We still got those scales right here. The toe box is nice and round. I'm going to turn around here. The toe box is nice and round. Not bad. That's typical for the new style. I know back in the day it was a little bit more slanted, but this looks a little boxy to me, but it's not that bad. It's, it's really not that bad. It's okay. We have our two, three right there in that bronze kind of clay color right there going up the laces. This shoe didn't come with extra laces and I really don't think they need extra laces. So that's pretty cool. Going to the heel of the shoe, we have like almost like somebody swinging this golf club. Imagine this guy swinging a golf club and he's kicking up that dirt or that sand and all that. So that looks like that. And this is kind of like a rubberized material. I'm not really sure what material that is on the top there, but it looks cool. On the heel, it looks a little different. You don't have the quality products inspired, but you do have the Jordan right there, Jordan Golf. Definitely nice. Now, this is not a golf shoe. It doesn't have like the little tacks and stuff on the bottom, but it does say Jordan Golf. So, you know, that pays homage there. You got the jump, man. I do like how the tab is black and it breaks up that silhouette. Definitely, this shoe reminds me a lot of the Terracotta 14s, the, the Clot 14s, the Terracotta Warrior ones. This really reminds me of that. It's kind of got some of the same vibes to it. Anyway, black 23 right there. Medial side of the shoe looks just like the lateral side of the shoe. Nothing too crazy there. I do like that hit of gold. Eyelets right here at the top with the Jumpmans. Those are gold right there. Very, very nice. Tongue of the shoe right here. 
you have that guy right there on the little tag that is swinging the golf club, so not bad there. Like I said before, outsole of the shoe is definitely nice. You got this green, it looks like grass or turf or something like that from when somebody's on the fairway, so that looks dope. There's our carbon fiber vibes right there, you guys can see that, and then we did mention the jump man right there in the black 23. Sock liner of the shoe is that same muslin type, sandy type color, so that's not bad at all. I do like that. Standard shoe tree comes with these joints, and insole of the shoe is just a standard insole. It's got that little foam piece on there. This isn't any Dream Cell. I'm actually surprised they didn't put Dream Cell or anything more comfortable in this. They just kind of left it with this old style foamy stuff, so I'm actually disappointed in that. But what I do like is the shoe that has the green on the bottom has the green insole and the shoe that has the red on the bottom has the same insole, but it's red. So I did like that. I thought that was dope. So overall, this shoe definitely sick. I like it a lot. If I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10 for the colorway, I really, really dig the colorway. I think the colorway is probably going to be a nine for me. I like the earth tones. I like the different styles and i like the little textile on the back i think that was super slick so i like that in terms of construction and materials it's nice you know what i'm saying it's not like they made a cheap jordan 12 this jordan 12 is definitely dope i have nothing to complain about there so i'm really digging that all right so hopefully this review helps you make a decision if you like these joints or not I think these are a go. I would definitely consider getting a pair of these however way you get them, UA, retail, whatever. Whatever you do, I would say just get you a pair, hold on to them, and rock these joints, all right? So I'm about to get on a body here. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay humble, y'all stay blessed. Peace.